Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Welcome Andrew to Rosedale Howard. College. Thank you very much. Like all schools, we're under a fair amount of pressure as far as league tables, etc., are concerned. And that does put pressure on subjects like food technology, where Denise really can only have 55 minutes a week with the youngsters. And it's a tall order to get all of the practical learning done within that time scale. Right, well, good luck, Michael. I'm sure you're going to have an interesting time, and I hope we get a, a moment or two to talk about it at the end. Thank you, I look forward okay. to it. It's going to be really, really challenging this time because this time, even the filling, they have to do it themselves. Yeah. This group here, this is quite challenging as well because they're doing a uh, sweet cross pastry and, uh, you know, no, they don't even know what the process is going to be. I wanted to see whether a chef coming in here, you know, can actually take that lead, you know, and finish that product, prepared and ideal, even tasting it. Good morning. Hello, hi. Hi. Which one are we doing first, Denise? Uh, we're doing the sweet crust pastry with um, lemon curd. Okay, well, if we're using lemon curd, I could actually make the lemon curd as well. And uh, we might be able to, if we have time, I know it's a tight schedule, we only yes, have 55 yes. minutes, but we might be able to make a little bit of meringue and just show them what a lemon meringue pie is, which might ah, be nice for them. Ah, that would be really, really good. Lovely work. Okay, let's everyone come line up and wash your hands. Ready? We're going to prepare sweet short crust pastry, okay? And we're going to use lemon curd. The first thing that I want you to do is to take out your non-skid mixing bowl and start sifting the flour. Add your margarine. You go. And start rubbing in. Using fingertips. Put your sugar in there. Then gradually pour your egg into the mixture. Yes. Okay, done. And then using your hand, create a dough. One hand only. I'll show you, I'll show you. Okay? Yeah, that's that's perfect. Are you happy with it? Yeah. I've got water, lemon juice, lemon zest, and sugar. So we've boiled it all up and we're going to make a syrup with that. I have some corn flour here that I've just diluted down with a little bit of uh, water, and this is actually going to thicken it. So pull that in. So I'm just going to bring this to the boil. Wow, that's really nice. Can you smell it? Can you smell the lemons? Mm -hmm. It always smells clean lemons, doesn't it? Do you see that? Yeah. Wow. See it, guys? Jelly. Yeah, it's like jelly. It's yeah? like jelly, yeah, it's brilliant. So then we take it off the heat. We add 50 grams of butter. So we just mix that in so it's melted. And then we add four egg yolks to cook it once again. OK, and that's one pot of lemon oh, curd. Yeah. That's so nice. if you want to pass it around, just have a quick look at it, and then I think you need to get back to your pastry. I'm going to make some meringue because I want to show just one tart with some meringue on top. <laughs> Wash up, please, guys. Hurry up. Wash everything. Hurry up. Your oven gloves are here. Guys, oven gloves are here. Take out your tart left and place it on the cooling rack. Everything now and leave only the cooling racks. 
Right, I'm just putting the meringue into the piping bag. Red has gone. Big, big eyes. Can you come over here, all of you, please? So I've whisked, whisked the egg white and the sugar, and now I've made it into a meringue. Come and see what's going to happen. It's just egg whites, okay? Beaten with sugar. And then stand back a little bit. There you go. Then we're just gonna. Isn't that nice? Yes. <laughs> so you could do it at home then next time, okay? Now, take out your tart lips. Remember on a cooling rack. Considering that's the first time you've been in here this year, I think that's a fantastic result. Good. Is it good? Yeah. Does it taste sweet, sour? Because it's supposed to be a little bit. The, the pastry sweet and the lemon sour, isn't it? So, Michael, I'm intrigued. How did you get on? Well, I'm glad you're intrigued <laughs> because um, I had a very interesting morning. The pupils were actually great. Um, the standard they produced was good, and the whole thing was just a little rushed, which we kind of knew of. Yeah. Um, one of the things we're going to try this afternoon is to team them up into pairs to see if they actually that will encourage teamwork so they can do more of the cooking and hopefully produce a better dish. I've learned a lot from you of how you've done your lesson, so I'm going to have a little go myself. So I'm going to give you the lead now to actually explain the aim, the objectives and get on with it. Absolutely. Okay, okay. But don't go far. Okay. I wouldn't. <laughs> So, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. My name's Michael Coker. When you address me, it's Chef. So, you say yes, Chef, if I ask you a question. What do you say? Yes, yes Chef. Right. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to do flaky pastry today, and we're going to stuff it with spinach and ricotta. You're going to be working in pairs today. So, you're going to be working with your partner. So, one of you will make the pastry, and one of you will make the filling. Right, do you want to come forward and get your ingredients? Come on, guys. Right, can you get a bowl out for your pastry? And you need a frying pan for your spinach and ricotta. You need to chop the onion and start frying it. Take half of your margarine and put it in the flour. Is everybody's onion on? And then rub it in with your fingertips, yeah? Please, and then half of your fat fat. 16 millilitres of water. What do you have to do now then? Exactly, roll it as I was saying. Okay, so the people who are doing the ricotta stay on it. And the people who are doing the pastry can you come forward. You just put the butter. On two thirds of it. And then you fold it over. Do you see that? Yeah. So you keep folding it in. And then you roll it again. Are you okay with that? Yeah. So then you just. Can you all do it then, yeah? Yeah, how many times should we carry on going? You do it about five times. You need to mash the ricotta. Well, leaving everything you know into a chef and he needs to control the whole class, it's going really, really well. And I want to see the end product, you know, when it's done. That's what I want to see. You're halfway through the lesson. Everything should be on for your spinach and ricotta and your pastry should be well on the way. Has everybody got their spinach ricotta off the stove? Yes. Has everyone washed their pot? Because no. if you don't wash it as you go along, we'll end up with a big mess at the end. Come on, you guys. That's it. Get your filling in. That's a big one. Are you hungry? Take a little bit of that out. Yeah. Uh -huh.
Right, who hasn't got theirs in the oven? Beautiful. Close the door. In they go. Once they're cooking, you can do your washing up. Guys, get everything put away. Maybe another minute and the bell goes. And they're not yet ready. And I'm worried now, because it's the end of the day and they have to go home. Come on. Oh, the, the clock's ticking. Um, guys, line up over here, let's go. Go for registration and come back, OK? Thank you. Yes, you're coming back for the pie. It was a challenging dish for them to do, and I think within the time frame, they just about achieved it. It's difficult to get it fully cooked in the time, but, um, no, I think, we've, I think we did it. Please be very careful when you take them out of the oven. Yes. Well, I have to say these two. The I didn't quite say that, but the decoration is very innovative. And the best. And one of the best. And the little star here, I like that as well. That one is very creative. It looks like it's got a little look the back of your hair, doesn't it? No, they're good. So, well done. So, what does it taste like? Oniony. Oniony. Do you taste the spinach and the ricotta cheese? Ricotta's the best. You like the ricotta? Definitely. Good. Well, that's it's quite good for your ricotta, and the spinach is healthy, part of your five a day. So, you're well on the way with that. Tastes good? I have another one. <laughs> Next time. Okay. Well done, young man. It was fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. To be honest with you, I enjoyed the day as well. I enjoyed working with the young people, I enjoyed working with your team, and I enjoyed working with you, and I thought what they put on the table, they were proud of, and that's good. You're very lucky to be in such a fantastic environment to learn how to cook. No, no, the, the room, you know, and the facility is really, really well. It's fantastic. We've got um, all the equipment and we've got support from the head. So from that angle, I find it quite, quite um, uh, good, you know. But, I say but, ideally we should have longer periods of uh, lessons. So, so if I said to you, there's one thing you could change, with your cookery lessons, it would be? Time factor. The time factor, I would like it to be longer. Yes. And I totally agree with you.